hi guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'll be showing you how you can dockerize your django application so yesterday we installed the django application on our ec2 container and we deployed it over there we pulled the code from github and we got it we created a repository and we ran our django application yesterday however today we'll be looking into how you can dockerize your django application so without any further ado, let's get started and stay tuned till the end because it's going to be an amazing journey of learning step by step of how you are going to pull your code from github and then finally you're going to dockerize your django application and you're going to run it on ec2 instance so without any further ado let's get started also consider subscribing to our channel because i'll be sharing more such interesting videos in future so stay tuned and keep going okay so let's go to the ec2 instance that we created yesterday go to your amazon console open the ec2 instance that we created yesterday and uh, we are going to look into that instance that we created in the part one We'll go to our Django server. This is the one that we created. We'll connect to it. Click on connect button. And once you click on connect button, you, it will open EC2 instance connect. Uh, let's see what's going on on our EC2 instance. And next we are going to dockerize our application. So let's see where are we. Okay. So yes, we have our projects and we have a django project inside the project directory we'll go inside the django folder the test project that we created and then we are going to list all the directories and files that are present inside it so one of the file that you can see is known as docker file so in order to dockerize our application the basic minimum need is we are going to create a docker file so why do we need a docker file let's look into the docker file so let's open the docker file by giving the command vi docker file and hit enter so this will open the docker file that we have currently in our system so this docker file will help us in creating the image of the application that we are trying to create and then we are going to instantiate or run this particular image in order to get the container so basically this docker file is used to build the, a docker image that runs a django web application so this is the breakdown of the steps that is being mentioned in our docker file so the first line it says from python 3 so this line it specifies the base image for the docker image which in this case is python 3 so basically python 3 is something that we use uh, uh, the installation of python 3 is something that is required in order to run our django application second line it says is run pip install django is equal to 3.2 so basically we also uh, did a pip install django while we were trying to run this application in our ec2 instance when we were not using the docker in order to run the application so that is what we are doing this line it basically installs django version 3.2 using pip which is the python package manager then the next line it says copy dot space dot so this line copies all the files from the current directory so where you are from that current directory the one where our docker file is being located currently to the root directory of the docker image then the next line it says run python manage.py migrate so this line it basically runs database migrations django database migrations all the database migrations are being executed when we run this particular command so when we executed our django application at that time also we executed this particular command finally we are giving the command in order to run the python in order to run the server so this line it specifies the command to be run when the docker container is being started so in this case it runs the django development server which listens on all the available network interfaces on port number 8002 so that is what we have written in our django uh, file in our docker file so you are going to save this particular docker file uh, whatever i have just shown you or you can also add this docker file in your django application when you are trying to dockerize your uh, django application 
okay guys so now you have seen how do we create a docker file now let's install docker in order to make sure that we are able to run the docker commands such as we are able to build the docker images and we are able to run our uh, containers so let's install docker i have already uh, made a video on how to install docker i'll leave the link in the description box so you can watch that video again however i'm going to install docker now as well so i'll do it little quickly in, in order to understand in depth about how to install the docker on ec2 you can go and watch that particular video so let's install docker let's skip the command sudo yum install minus y docker so this will install docker and once the docker is being installed we are going to start the docker service and for that we are going to use the command sudo service docker start so let it be executed next we are going to give the command in order to start the docker service start so this will start our docker service and if we want to check that whether our docker is installed correctly or not let's use the command docker minus minus version so it showed that docker has been installed successfully on our ec2 instance next what we are going to do is we are going to build a docker image so for that we are going to use the command sudo docker build dot so dot is current directory so you have to build the image from the directory where your docker file is being present minus t and uh, we are going to give the name of our uh, image that we are going to create out of our django application so let's hit enter so this is actually creating the image so you can see that it is doing it in steps or it is doing it in different layers so it is taking some time it is pulling uh, different images and like for example let's say the base image python is being pulled when docker uh, file is being built it when it builds your docker image so it will take a minute to run this particular command so it is almost done so that is just a simple warning we can ignore that warning and let's see it is doing it in steps so you can see that it is being done in steps step three five out of five step step four and then it is finally saying successfully built so this is the image id that has been built so once your image id has been built we are going to run this particular image in order to test that whether our container has been instantiated and executed and next what we are going to do is we are going to test our application django application will be deployed with the help of docker so let's run this command sudo docker run minus p so and we are going to give the port number where we want to do the mapping 8000 8000 and we are going to give the image id so this is the image id that was just created so you can copy this you can paste it over here and hit enter so this command will get executed sudo docker run minus p 8002 so basically this command it runs the docker container from the app from the image that we just created and it maps the port 8002 on the host machine to the port 8002 in the container so that is what we are doing over here 8002 colon 8002 and at last we are going we are giving image id which is the unique identifier for your image that was built in the previous uh, command when we executed so now this means that our application is running in the container and it is accessible through port 8002 so let's uh, try to access this particular application copy this uh, port number http colon slash slash will give the ip address colon 8002 is where our application is being deployed so now django is running okay so it is still running let's check our uh, check our security groups so whether they are configured for inbound rules uh, to get 8000 port or not so we need to go and check that thing so let's go to security let's go to our security groups so these are the inbound rules so it is not being configured for 8002 so let's edit the inbound rules and let's add the rule for 8002 port number let's open it for uh, 
other applications to access it so once you click on save rules it will actually update your security group and i think now your application is being accessible so you have dockerized your django application successfully so that's it for today in today's video i hope you enjoyed the video it was a small video and i gave you a glimpse of how you can dockerize any application we took an example of django application today and step by step what we did was we installed django uh, first of all we installed django we bought the django by from github um, application uh, we got the django application from the github repository link that i shared in my previous video you can refer to that video secondly we ran the um, application on our local in order to make sure that the application is perfectly running fine today what we did was we created a docker file i explained you the steps in the docker file then we created an image build an image out of that docker file finally we ran the container and our application is running inside the container successfully so that's it for today i hope you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to our channel thank you bye bye